Welcome to part two of this ADF Insider session on deploying ADF security enabled applications. Dmitry Nefedkin, Oracle Fusion Metal War Consultant, will now complete this process for you. Hi, this is Dmitry Nefedkin from Oracle ISV Immigration Center team. And that's the second part of the video where I'm going to show how to deploy ADF security enabled application to the standalone WebLogic server domain. And uh, you see that in the first part uh, we've already uh, done a lot of steps and we're starting the second part of a demonstration from the, from the mapping of the application roles of our ADF application with the Oracle Trend Directory groups. Next we'll test our application, uh, try to update the role permissions at runtime and we will see the effect of that and at the end we'll redeploy it with the different security related settings. If we'll try to access our application using the ArcuNode credentials entering the username and password we'll see that Alexander Hunold uh, cannot access a lot of tabs and uh, don't see any information in the profile. We should definitely map the application roles to the uh, enterprise groups. Let's go to the security application roles, pick our application from the application list. Here we see the application roles and uh, by clicking the edit button we can add the enterprise group groups from the uh, OLDAP directory. Let's associate the APP employees with the uh, VP, line manager and developers uh, enterprise groups. For the APP manager role we'll do the associations with the just two groups VP and line managers. Press OK. And for the APP HR managers, we'll bind it to just one group named VP. So vice presidents will be application HR managers. Let's return to our application and let's log in as Alexander Hunold, who is the line manager and developer. And as you see now, in the user profile section, we will be able to see the information regarding the Alexander. Uh, he can access employee search and uh, even can update the employee information. He can also access the management salary overview tab as well. But he cannot see HR manager only tab because he is not. Uh, APPHR manager. He is just the uh, manager and the employee. Okay, so uh, let's try to log out and uh, enter our application as another user. We have the uh, user Nina Kochar. She is a vice president. That means she is APP HR manager in our application and you see the HR manager tab is available for her. Let's log out. Now let's look at the changing of the application permissions at runtime. Let's log in as Alex Dehan. He is also the vice president so uh, he is an APP HR manager in our application. In the user profile tab we see the uh, information uh, regarding the reporting employees and delete selected employee button is available uh, to Lex because he has the corresponding permission. Let's uh, go to the Fusion Middleware Control Security Application Policies. Pick our application from the list. And here you see all the uh, all the application roles and the permissions uh, defined and that's the list of the permissions for the APP HR manager and one of the permissions 
is the uh, permission for the entity object named employees permission to delete this entity objects because uh, of this uh, permission we see the button enabled let's delete this permission here save our changes and return back to the application we shouldn't even relog in just uh, change the tab and return to the user profile tab and you see now that delete selected employee button is disabled well now let's imagine that the bug has been found in our application and we should redeploy it let's go to the fusion middleware control and pick the redeploy menu item let's select our ear file well uh, the settings in the, uh, this page are the same we shouldn't change them and in the configure application security we can say that we want to ignore policy migration so we want to leave everything as is so we've specified the application policies the way how we want to uh, have it so that's why let's just move it as is so application has been redeployed successfully let's re-log in and look at the result the login button yeah the page is expired because we've redeployed the application okay and we are logging as a Lex Dehan as the same uh, VP user to which we've changed uh, the uh, permissions and as you can see in the user profile tab Lex Dehan still cannot delete employees because we haven't changed uh, the application permissions during redeployment and if we will try to redeploy the application one more time and pick another one uh, security configuration you will see what will be the result let's pick the same your file pick next and here in the application security let's set the overwrite as the application policy migration option in this case will completely overwrite uh, the security uh, application security configuration that has been set up previously during the uh, fusion middleware control sessions before so let's close the successfully deployment window go to the application login Let's login as the same user Lex Dehan it's okay and uh, what we see as a result all the mappings, all the mappings between the application roles and the uh, enterprise users, sorry, enterprise groups, has been lost. That's why we don't have an access to the user profile information. We have the disabled property for the other uh, tabs as well. So we completely overwritten the security configuration. So just keep in mind what are your options when you are deploying your ADF security enabled applications so okay this concludes my demo if you have questions regarding this demo just drop me an email or post your comments to our blog thank you very much for your time see you bye for more information on Oracle's JDeveloper and the application development framework, please visit Oracle's Technology Network here. This is where you'll also find more on the ADF Insider series, as well as downloads, tutorials, a discussion forum where you can ask questions related to JDeveloper and the application development framework. You'll find code samples, the ADF Developer's Guide, and much more.